بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از آصف رضا میر شاہ اینڈ مائی ٹاپک آف پریزنٹیشن از فور کی ڈائمینشنس آف آبزرویشن بفور گوئنگ ٹو ورڈ دی ڈائمینشنس فسٹ آئی ایکسپلین دی ڈیفینیشن آف آبزرویشن اینڈ دی پرپز آف اٹس یوز ان ریسرچ سو دس آبزرویشن از اے main source of gathering information for research so may be defined as perceiving data through the senses empirical sight hearing taste touch and smell uh, now for uh, uh, I explain the four dimensions key dimensions of observation first dimension is controlled versus uncontrolled observation second dimension is participant versus non participant observation third dimension is structured versus unstructured observation and fourth dimension is concealed versus unconcealed observation so uh, now here are some uh, key points uh, through which i explain all these uh, dimensions in my later slides so first i uh, controlled and uncontrolled uh, in uncontrolled Uh, uncontrolled is natural controlled is in carefully arranged conditions uh, uh, a participant versus non participant non partis in a spent not in uh, non participant observation uh, pers- participant not directly involved as an actor whereas in participant observation participant gathering data by involved in uh, involved himself in the daily life of the group so uh, third dimension is uh, structured versus unstructured uh, uh, in structured observation predetermined activities are involved while in unstructured observation uh, uh, there is no need of list of uh, activities or uh, it leads to a tentative hypothesis uh, my fourth uh, fourth key dimension of observation is concealed versus unconcealed in a concealed members are told that they are going to be investigated while in unconcealed observation uh, it's more obtrusive uh, now i try to explain control versus uncontrolled observation controlled observation usually utilized in experimental studies where expen- experimental uh, uh, versus non experimental variables are controlled by the researcher or uh, Uh, in uncontrolled uh, usually utilized in natural settings no control whatsoever is placed upon any variable within the observation observational area so i personally observe this uh, to uh, uh, or uh, all dimensions of observation when i was uh, working in a sugar industry uh, there were two moments when i uh, uh, i uh, observed this uh, these all these other dimensions but at that time i had not a technical knowledge of these uh, observations uh, techniques so now when i studied about these techniques i uh, i uh, i can come to know that this uh, uh, long ago i see this whole concept uh, in front of my eyes so uh, there were two point, uh, uh, especially in, uh, if i have to map the, uh, those uh, examples in a controlled and uncontrolled observation it's very easy for me uh, uh, first uh, uh, th- th- there were there was a concept of emotional intelligence so uh, industry try to uh, uh, increase the efficiency and effectiveness of uh, their uh, higher level management or their uh, lower level management and their labor also so they uh, they contact with a, a research group and uh, ask them to uh, conduct a research and try to help them to increase the efficiency of their middle level managers and high level managers and also their supervisors and labor so how t- they increase their efficiency and effectiveness uh, in controlled observation they uh, the researchers uh, when i was uh, seeing this whole uh, scene the researchers uh, uh use separate rooms or uh, s- uh, two or three 
members in somewhere while uh, in uh, for some people there were only one member sitting there and ask specific questions to them so they uh, answer their questions uh, while in uncontrolled observation uh, uh, I, I also observe this as a, a concept too when there was a bigger st bigger strike in our uh, industry when I was working there that uh, due to uh, uh, they, they were not uh, increase the salaries of the employers long ago so uh, workers uh, or uh, uh, management some uh, departments of the um, uh, organization uh, are a part of this uh, uh, strike so uh, again there were a meeting of uh, stakeholders or uh, uh, shareholders shareholders and uh, uh, they decided to conduct a research on this uh, that why, why why this whole thing is happened or uh, what are the key uh, variables which are uh, uh, which are if with these variables are controlled the whole thing is working well so and um, there there were group of researchers came but nobody know that uh, who they are so they individually go in a different departments uh, people thought uh, employers employers thought that they are maybe they are some vendors they ask a uh, relevant unrelevant questions to them about the topic but they uh, uh, most employers didn't know that uh, uh, why why they are uh, coming here or what's their purpose so at the end they uh, uh, they uh, they analyze the whole scenario and they uh, submit their findings to the organizational uh, uh, industry heads and uh, 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 head of the uh, departments of different organize uh, uh, different departments uh, of the organization which are uh, directly involved with uh, them so uh, and told them that in on which variables they have to work uh, to increase their efficiency and effectiveness next is uh, structured versus unstructured observation structure observation concentrate on a particular or and particular aspects of the variable being observed be it a thing behavior or condition so uh, while in unstructured the observer does not hold any list of items to be observed so structured uh, 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 when I was going for ISSB so uh, there I uh, especially I uh, there was a group of uh, observers sitting there especially to observe me as uh, psychiatrists or a different or a, a other different peoples uh, so I think uh, uh, they they had a list of items to uh, or a list of questions uh, in in their hands and they ask different questions to me on uh, on the topic so I have also to answer them so I answer them I, I think that uh, uh, that come under structured observation while in unstructured uh, observer does not hold any list of items to be observed party third our third dimension of observation is participant versus non participant so in participant the observer is part of the phenomena or group which of uh, which observer and he acts while observer we are observer and acts as both an observer and a participant so uh, in a non participant in this method the observer stays uh, apart and does not participate in the phenomena directly Naturally, there is no emotional environment on the part of the observer. This method calls for skill in recording observation in an unnoticed manner. So, in participant observation, I uh, personally read the example of Ford Company, where uh, there were uh, 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 to observe the whole uh, phenomena. The observer himself, part of the uh, a, a part of the company as an employee, and observe the things very clearly. Uh, uh, so that is the example of participant observation while in non-participant uh, it's behind the uh, it's not himself part of the observation like a, it's as a second uh, hand uh, or as, uh, it's on a uh, like on a camera or uh, in 
as a mirror act as a cameraman or uh, uh, act as a camera or as a mirror third a uh, fourth is our uh, concealed versus unconcealed observation in concealed observation the researcher subject do not know that they are being observed uh, and, and the advantage is that they are not influenced by the awareness of the researcher a disadvantage of is the ethical drawbacks so uh, because they are not know that they are going to be ob uh, investigated so uh, while in unconcealed observation the subjects do know that they are being observed this makes it uh, more obtrusive perhaps upsetting the authenticity of the behavior of the study here are some characteristics of the observation uh, scientific observation is systematic observation is specific scientific observation is objective Obse observation is recorded immediately observation is expert observation is verifiable characteristics of observation uh, there is uh, there are some advantages of observation or these uh, observational dimensions reliable and objective natural setting useful for young and shy uh, children no need of equipment or tools useful for individuals as well as groups immediate de the detection of problems most direct measure of behavior provides direct information easy to complete on time can be used in natural or experimental settings like all other uh, topics as we know that if there are some advantages there are also some disadvantages of the uh, uh, observation uh, methods uh, may require training observers presence may create artificial situation potential to overlook uh, meaningful aspects aspects uh, difficult to analyze in some cases the use of observational methods may be unethical as in observation uh, observing people without their knowledge or consent observation tools and recording devices uh, recording sheets or checklists schedule field observation logs mechanical devices these are the disadvantages observation guides these are printed forms that provide space for recording observations. They are particularly useful when uh, several observers are involved on when you wish to obtain comparable information from several sites, observation points or observation of many people. The more structured the guide, the easier it will be to tally the results. So at the end, here is the uh, conclusion of the whole topic. Uh, under the observation methods, the information is sought by way of investigators on direct observation without asking from the respondent. For instance, in a study relating to consumer behavior, the investigator, instead of asking the brand of wrist watch used by the respondents, may himself look at the watch. The main advantage of this method is that uh, subjective bias is eliminated and such is relatively less demanding of active cooperation on the part of respondents as happens to be the case in the interview or the questionnaire method this method is directly suitable in studies that is respondents who are not capable of giving verbal reports of their feeling for one reason or the other so this is the conclusion of the whole topic so i think the uh, according to my uh, research on this uh, on my topic of uh, four dimensions of observation so uh, I uh, I thought they uh, they are very very useful for researchers because uh, because where your uh, empirical uh, or uh, uh, your senses are involved it is a direct method or it's uh, it's very easy method to uh, uh, to get information but uh, as we see some uh, disadvantages there are also some other disadvantages like uh, advantages that it it easy it's a direct method or uh, uh, it's uh, uh, through uh, result findings are very immediate so uh, drawbacks are b because uh, when you have to observe the areas like uh, uh, if there is a 
uh, project uh, for a researchers in areas like Kashmir or uh, Iraq, Iran, where, where there is a battlefield or uh, environment is not enabled for these uh, researcher groups. So it's very difficult for the uh, observers to directly go there and to conduct a research. So this is uh, the very big uh, drawback of the uh, this uh, uh, this this uh, for for uh, dimensions where which are uh, used uh, your direct uh, observations. So thank you this uh, uh, for listening.